people always panic about aging. But we think they're wrong to do so, because aging is a beautiful thing, and these people prove it. These are the 20 oldest humans to ever live. Number 20. Swami Shivananda Swami Shivananda doesn't look a day over 80, but this man claims to have been born in 1896, which would make him at least 126 years old. Some people say that this man traveled through time and revealed mysterious things as well, since he's a monk who has allegedly seen three centuries in his long life. Swami is a yoga guru and has been living in a single room for over four decades. He says it's his ideal way of life. He gets up at the same time every day, 3 a.m., eats a simple diet with two meals a day and no breakfast, and has the same routine of yoga, walking, sunbathing, and scripture chanting. Swami said his simple lifestyle like this has allowed him to reach the age he is, and he leads a desire-free lifestyle. However, at that time, the Guinness World Record for the oldest living person was held by Kane Tanaka, who was 119. Some of Swami's followers were in the process of applying for his record on his behalf. Swami doesn't remember much about his childhood, except that his parents had no money for food and gave him away to a monk when he was four years old. He also performed his parents' last rites when he was six years old, and after that time, he traveled from place to place with his guru. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Alexander Smith is a unique individual. He claims to be a time traveler. He insists he even has photographic proof of what the year 2118 will be like. He claims that back in 1981, he traveled back and forth in time on a frequent basis as part of a top-secret CIA mission. While there, he says he took a photo of a skyline to prove it. He has made many claims about the future. He says that aliens will introduce themselves to us within a few decades, and he says that the number one threat to humanity is global warming. Apparently, most of humanity will be confined to towering photos, and World War III will be sparked by a conflict of interest between North Korea and America. Is he telling the truth? Well, you'll know for yourself soon, because he insists time travel will be freely available from 2028. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag OddTopic. Number 19. Zero Aga we all forget our age from time to time, but could you really forget that you were over 50 years older than you actually were? Zero Aga, a Turkish-Kurdish man, claimed to be between 157 and 160 years old by the time he died in 1934, claiming that he was born between 1774 and 1777. Some people really did believe he was the oldest man to have ever lived, but research has now revealed he was likely 97 when he died. Zero was from the Madan village in the Bitlis province of the Ottoman Empire and worked in construction before moving to Istanbul. He said he worked as a porter for over 150 years before working as a janitor and then retiring. The claims Zero made throughout his life were astounding. He says he fought in six wars, met Napoleon, and fought in the Battle of Plevna at age 100. He also said he had been married up to 12 times and had at least 36 children. It seems Zero liked being called the oldest man in the world because he traveled to many countries as a major attraction. His body was also sent to the United States for research after he died. An investigation report revealed that he was around 97. Do you think we'd never find out? Number 18. Luo Meijin Breaking two world records can be hard work, especially for something like the most press-ups or longest run. But Luo Meijin broke two without even trying. She was, for a time, the oldest living person in the world and the oldest person in history. She died at age 127 in 2013. Luo was a Chinese-born farmer who, according to her birth documents, was born in 1885. However, there's no way to confirm her date of birth with any certainty since reliable birth certificate systems weren't developed until decades after Luo was born. You might also not think she's as old as she is based on her five very young-looking children. They look too young 
young to be the product of a 127-year-old, but Luo had one of them when she was 61 years old. Luo was from the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region of China. She was illiterate and worked as a farmer and housewife throughout her many years of life. Her family knew her as someone with a strong character and stubbornness, but said that she was a kind person who also had a very bad temper. But could you blame her at that age? I'd be miserable too. Her family said her death was not unexpected. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't think anyone wouldn't have seen that one coming. Number 17. Li Ching Yuan We'll never know how old Li Ching Yuan was. He was a Chinese herbalist, tactical advisor, and martial artist with so many potential birth dates and dates of death that we could establish his age between 110 and 356. Even at the lower end, it seems very surprising. Some say he was born in 1674 and died in 1933, but that would make him impossibly old. Li Ching Yuan worked as an herbalist and lived on a diet of the same herbs he sold and rice wine. He was fully literate as a child and traveled around different countries gathering herbs. Apparently, he relocated to Kaixian in southwestern China where he joined an army at 72 years old. Here, he was a tactical advisor and martial arts teacher. He was also welcomed into the home of Jili warlord Wu Paifu so he could uncover the secret to living for 250 years. There's so much random information about Li Ching Yuan that we might never know how old he truly was or what he did with his life. However, many sources say he died of natural causes in 1933 in Sichuan, the Republic of China, and was survived by his 24th wife, who was 70 years old. Throughout his long life, he supposedly produced upwards of 200 descendants and outlived 23 wives. Number 16. Sodi Meijo Mba Gato. In 2017, the world's oldest person died. He was Sodi Mejo, known locally in Indonesia as Mba Gotho, and he passed away at the insane age of 146. According to his government-issued ID, Mba was born in 1870 and local officials verified this information. In his last days, he no longer wanted to eat or drink and died several days after being released from the hospital with deteriorating health. I mean, what can you really do for someone who's that old? Mba was a chain smoker who lived in the central Java province of Indonesia. He lived through the beginning of two millennia, the Japanese occupation, Dutch colonization, and the invention of airplanes. He was even around before before the telephone became a thing. Mba outlived four of his wives, and if you were to read between the lines in any interview he did during his last years, he was more than ready to close this chapter. Well, to be honest, you didn't even need to read between the lines. He literally said, what I want is to die. Mba even purchased his tombstone back in 1992, so I guess he never expected to live as long as he did. Number 15. Thelma Sutcliffe before her death at age 115 at the start of 2022, Thelma Sutcliffe from Nebraska was the oldest living person in the United States. She passed away at an assisted living facility in Omaha, according to her 94-year-old nephew, Robert Sorensen. Thelma was born in 1906 and became the oldest person in America after another woman died the year before. She was also the seventh oldest person in the world. According to interviews Thelma did before her death, she credited her long life to not worrying, not smoking, smoking, and not having children. She and her husband Bill never had children, and Bill died in the 1970s. Thelma lived through many historical events, like World War I, World War II, the 1918 Spanish flu, and the coronavirus pandemic. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, her closest living relative, her nephew Robert, hadn't been able to visit her in two years. However, they talked on the phone frequently, and Robert said she was good to him and his siblings throughout their lives. And while you might think that anyone who reaches the age of 115 would barely be coherent, apparently that's not the case. According to her lifelong friend, Lou Bella Mason, Thelma was incredibly sharp right until the very end. Number 14. Grace Jones the ever-graceful Grace Jones was the oldest person in Britain, and she passed away at her home in Worcestershire at age 112 in 2019. According to Grace's daughter, Deidre, her mother was fit and active until she died, and she certainly did seem it in any interview you watched of her. She barely looked a day over 80. And according to her daughter, Grace was also a piece of history gift-wrapped. Deidre said her mother had a wonderful sense of humor and took all the attention her age got her in stride. Grace even did interviews at her birthday 
party and dressed up beautifully for anybody who wanted a photo with her. She also loved how media outlets came in with cameras and lighting. Grace said she attributed her long life to whiskey. She said it's very good for you and she started having a nightly tot at 50 years old and had been having it every night for 60 years. Grace said her doctor said to keep up the whiskey because it's good for your heart. Number 13. Nabi Tajima for seven months, Nabi Tajima from Japan hold the title of the oldest person from Japan. She was 117 years and 260 days old. She was also considered the oldest person ever from Asia and the last confirmed person alive during the 19th century. Nabi even nabbed the title of being the world's oldest confirmed person in 2017, when Violet Brown died at age 117. Nabi was born on August 4, 1900, in the westernmost part of Kikaikima Island in Araki and lived in Kikai. She had nine children, 28 grandchildren, 56 great grandchildren, and an incredible 35 great great grandchildren. In 2017, Nabi had at least 160 descendants, including a few great 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 grandchildren. According to reports, Nabi died in a hospital in Japan in April 2018, after having been there since January. To be fair, she looked like she was ready to go. While she could move her hands around to the beat of traditional Japanese music played on instruments, she didn't open her eyes or move around much. Number 12. Jean Calment there's hope for us yet. Jean Calment lived on a diet of chocolate, cheap red wine, cigarettes, and olive oil, and still lived until she was 122. She spent pretty much her entire life doing whatever the doctors advised against if you wanted to live the longest life possible, and it didn't seem to make much of a difference. Jean, who lived for 122 years, 5 months, and 14 days before dying in 1997, would play with guns, drink coffee instead of eating breakfast, smoke, drink, and eat too much red red meat and sugar, but to look at her, she looked as fit as a fiddle. When she was 111 years old, she became the oldest living person in France before taking the title of the oldest living person in the world two years later. She was then the oldest actress to ever appear in film when she was 114 and then the first person ever to live to 116, and the titles just kept coming. By the time Jean was 120, she was the oldest person ever verified to be older than 120, and at 120 22, she was the oldest person ever. And shockingly, Jean only moved into a nursing home at age 110 and had spent the years before then living on her own. Hilariously, Jean said her youthful glow and long life came from her active lifestyle and diet. From the age of 85, she'd do armchair gymnastics, pray each morning, and shower without help. She would also finish getting ready for the day by covering her body with olive oil. Then it was time to tuck into food. For lunch, she'd have a glass of port, a cigarette, and braised beef. Rather than opt for healthy food, Jean loved fried, spicy foods and would always finish with a dessert. She also went through around two pounds of chocolate a week. Number 11. Chitetsu Watanabe Shitetsu Watanabe from Niigata, Japan, was presented with a certificate verifying him as the world's oldest man on February 12, 2020. It came just in time, because less than two weeks later, Shitetsu had died. But that wasn't exactly shocking since Chitetsu had lived until he was 112 years old. In that time, he had five children, two grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandchild. He believed he had lived so long because he had a cheerful temperament, didn't get angry, and always had a smile on his face. Chitetsu was born in 1907 and was the oldest of eight children. Upon graduating from agricultural school, he started working for a sugar plantation and moved to Taiwan. He met his wife, Mitsubishi and they started a family before he then served in the Japanese military toward the end of World War II in 1944. Shitetsu was fortunate enough to come home to his family, but life was tough. Transport and getting food was challenging, and he had four young children at the time. Eventually, he found work in an agricultural office and stayed there until his retirement. With plenty of time on his hands after retirement, Chitetsu immersed himself in his hobbies. He and his son built a house on farmland, and Chitetsu spent most of his days growing plums, strawberries, tomatoes, and potatoes. He was also a bonsai artist and prided himself on his many creations. Number 10. Leandra Becerra Lombreras 
Verifying Leandra Becerra Lumbreras' age is a little bit tricky since she lost her birth certificate during a move in the 1970s. However, she claims that she was born in 1887, while others say she was born in Tamaulipas, Mexico in 1904. This would make her 111 years and 6 days old upon her death in 2015. According to some sources, Leandra was born to two singers and was 27 years old when World War I broke out. She was also 75 years old when John F. Kennedy was shot and over 100 years old when the Berlin Wall came down. From 1910 to 1917, Leandra fought as the leader of the Adelitas in the Mexican Revolution. The Adelitas was a women's group who fought alongside their husbands in battle. During the revolution, Leandra became romantically involved with a revolutionary leader named Margarito Maldonado, who gave her an old rifle she owned up until her death. Leandra outlived all of her five children and even many of her 20 grandchildren. However, she still had at least 73 great-grandchildren and 55 great-great-grandchildren. She was believed to be 111 years old when she died, but some sources reported that the government had confirmed her age as 127. Number 9. Susanna Machat Jones for a time, Susanna Machat Jones from New York was the oldest person in the world. She was 116 years old when she died in 2016. Her friends and family called her Miss Susie, and she was known to love bacon and, oddly, lingerie. Susanna was from Alabama and worked as a live-in housekeeper and childcare provider. Her parents were sharecroppers, and she was the granddaughter of enslaved people. Susanna was also one out of 11 siblings and had been married for a short time but never had children. Susanna also never smoked or drank, but she sure did love bacon. After a consistent 10-plus hours of sleep per night, she'd wake up and have four strips of bacon with eggs and grits. But there was something that truly put a smile on her face. Susanna used to save up her money and visit Bloomingdale's, where she'd purchase upscale lace lingerie. Her family recalls the hilarious moment she had to get an EKG, and doctors and nurses were surprised by the lingerie she was wearing. Susanna said, you're never too old to wear it. After her death, Emma Murano from Verbania, Italy became the world's oldest person at 116. Number 8. Christian Mortensen Christian Mortensen was born in 1882 and died in 1998 at the ripe old age of 115. For the last 20 years of his life, he had lived in San Rafael, California, where he spent those years in the Aldersley retirement community. I bet he would never thought he'd spend two decades there. During his last years, Chris was blind and couldn't walk, but he was definitely mentally aware. He could carry on an intelligent conversation and said he believed he had lived as long as he did because he lived a good, clean life and preferred a primarily vegetarian diet. In saying that, Chris didn't say no to a cigar. He was smoking them right up until he died. Chris was born in Denmark and worked on a farm until 1902. He then decided he'd head to the United States for an adventure. Interestingly, Chris got married, but the marriage only lasted a few years. They didn't have children, and Chris doesn't even remember her name. He remained single for the rest of his life and moved from one state to the next, working as a streetcar repairman, milkman, tailor, and boat builder. In total, he had lived in 26 states before his death. Number 7. Chio Miyako when Nabi Tajima died at age 117 in April 2018, Chiyo Miyako from Japan became the oldest living person in the world. Chiyo, who was called the goddess by her family, was born in May 1901 and died in July 2018. According to her family, Chiyo was a chatty person who loved food, especially sushi and, oddly, eels. She was also a patient and kind woman who was well-traveled due to her husband's job with the Japanese National Railways. Chiyo was born in the Kanagawa prefecture of Japan and married Shoji Miyako, who died much earlier in 1951. The couple had two children, a son and daughter, both of whom died before Chiyo. Her son died in 1974 at age 52, while her daughter died in 1984 at age 57. Chiyo was also well known for her calligraphy skills. She had learned it as a child and practiced it almost until her death. Number 6. Hester Ford 
Hester Ford was the oldest living person in the United States until her death in April 2021. According to the Gerontology Research Group, Hester was born in 1905 in Lancaster, South Carolina and died at the age of 115 years old and 245 days in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hester was born in South Carolina and worked on a farm where she grew and picked cotton, plowed fields, and chopped wood. She married John Ford in 1921 when she was 15 and they went on to have 12 children. Hester moved to Charlotte in North Carolina in the 1950s and worked for over two decades as a nanny. Sadly, her husband died at age 57 in the early 1960s. When Hester turned 109, she said her secret to longevity was faith in God and thanking him for what he gave. She said she thanked him for everything but could no longer attend church in her centenarian years due to failing health, although she still watched many televised church services. Hester had dementia but still remembered Bible verses and on her 112th birthday, she recited the 23rd Psalm. By the time she passed away, Hester had at least 68 grandchildren, 120 great-grandchildren, and about 126 great-great-grandchildren. Number 5. Francisca Celsa dos Santos before her death on October 5, 2021, Francisca Celsa dos Santos from Cascavel, Sierra, Brazil was the third oldest person in the world. The Gerontology Research Group validated her age of 116 years and 349 days and her title as the longest-lived South American person just one day before her death. Francisca spent her working life doing household chores before later working as a merchant selling lace cloths. She married Raimundo Celso and the pair had six children. As of 2020, three of them were still alive. When her husband died in the late 1970s, Francisca moved in with her daughter in Sierra, Brazil. Not long later, doctors diagnosed her with a malignant tumor and didn't think she'd survive, so the family discharged her from the hospital and treated her with home remedies. Obviously, Francisca made a full recovery since she went on to live another three decades. Francisca lost her ability to walk in 2012 and had been cared for by one of her daughters as of 2019. But even though she wasn't very mobile, Francisca Francisca was generally in good health. She didn't take any medication and rarely got sick. However, she wasn't all that lucid and her health was continually monitored by her grandson, who was a doctor. Francisca ended up dying of pneumonia in 2021. Number 4. Emma Murano Emma Murano had a stack load of titles under her belt before her death in April 2017 at age 117 years and 137 days. The Italian supercentarian was the oldest living person from 2016 until her death the following year, and the last living person verified to have been born in the 1800s. She was also the oldest Italian person and the third oldest European person. Emma was born in Piedmont, Northwest Italy, and was the oldest of eight children. They all lived to be quite old, with many dying in their 90s and her sister Angela dying at age 102. Emma spent most of her life living in Verbania, which was where she met and married Giovanni Marta. Nuzzi. They had one child who died at six months old. Their marriage wasn't what you would call happy, so they separated in 1938. Until the 1950s, Emma worked at a jute factory in her town before working in a kitchen in a boarding school until she retired at age 75. In 2013, she was asked about her secret to a long life, and she said she ate three eggs daily, drank one glass of homemade grappa, which is a grape-based brandy, say that five times fast, and sometimes ate chocolate. However, Emma also said she believed she lived as long as she did because she always thought positively about the future. Number 3. Gertrude Weaver Just days after becoming the oldest person in the world, Gertrude Weaver died. Well, at least she had a small amount of time to revel in her title. Gertrude from Arkansas was 116 years old and nabbed the title from someone who had died in Japan at age 117 the week prior. Gertrude's age was able to be verified from the 1900 census, along with her marriage certificate. She wed at age 17 in 1915. Gertrude was asked how it felt to be the world's oldest person, and she said she didn't know because she's never been the oldest before. She also believed the secret to a long life 
was being kind, treating people right, and being nice to people in the same way you want them to be nice to you. Gertrude said the Lord blessed her because she's good to her family, good to her children, and good to her grandchildren. Up until her death, the highlights of her week were getting manicures, wheelchair dancing, Bible study, and enjoying concerts by schools and church groups. Number 2. Misao Okawa Misao Okawa was born in Osaka, Japan on March 5, 1898 and became the world's oldest living woman in 2013. Sadly, she died at age 117 on April 1, 2015. At that time, she was the 20th oldest person in recorded history just by reaching her 115th birthday. As you might expect, she died from natural causes in a nursing home in Osaka City, where she'd been living for some time. Misao grew up in Tenma, Osaka and was married to Yukio Okawa. They had three children together, four grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren. When she married Yukio in 1919, they moved to Kobe so Yukio could run his own business, but she returned to Osaka after his death in 1931. According to the nursing home where Misao was living until her death, Misao was starting to eat less and they were concerned about her condition. Just one month prior, though, they had celebrated her birthday with her 92-year-old son and his family. Local media also attended, and her birthday celebration was shown on national TV. TV in Japan. The media asked Misao whether she considered 117 years to be a long time or a short time, and she wisely said it was short. She also said she attributed her long life to always getting at least 8 hours of sleep per night and eating her favorite food, sushi. She also loved mackerel on vinegar steamed rice. Misao lived a long and interesting life, and throughout her 117 years, she had seen four emperors of Japan, three centuries, 20 U.S. presidents, and six. British monarchs. Number 1. Walter Bruning Walter Bruning was an American super centurion who was born in 1896 and died in 2011 at age 113. From 2009 until his death, he was the oldest living man and the third oldest verified American man. As of 2022, Walter was the fifth oldest verified man. Walter was born in Melrose, Minnesota and had four siblings. While his parents died young, Walter said longevity ran in his family. Both sets of his grandparents lived until they were in their 90s and all of his siblings lived until they were 71, 85, 91, and 100. When Walter died, the last of his siblings, he only had one niece and three nephews, all in their 80s, still alive. In his later years, Walter lived at the Rainbow Retirement and Assisted Living Center in Montana, where he moved in 1979 at age 83. At that time, it was called the Rainbow Hotel, but became the Assisted Living Center when he was 100 years old. Walter smoked cigars all his life, but when interviewed at age 110, he said, he had to quit in 1999 at age 103 because they were too expensive, although he still smoked any cigars he was given as gifts. Right up until his death, Walter's memory remained sharp. He remembers the day he got his first haircut, since it was the same day President William McKinley was shot, and he also remembered his grandfather talking about his time in the American Civil War. It's hard not to be amazed that people can live into their 90s, so imagine how shocking it is when your family members start living past 100. It would be weird being over a century old. Do you have any family members or friends that old? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!